Breaking news on Chicago's west side is a man armed with a gun and a flamethrower is engaged in a standoff with police. Reporting that this man was on the roof at one point. He had a rifle at one point. He had a flamethrower and there are also anti-Semitic signs displayed on that roof as well. Add this to the growing list of weirdness that will be memory hold in three, two, pff, it's gone. It's gone, Abe. Just like the Mandalay Bay shooter. What happened? We can't figure this out. January 6th pipe bomber. X-nay on the bomb. A. What about that Indian neo-Nazi or the Mexican neo-Nazi the other day? Or that one weirdo. Some bitch I know was just talking about. Remember that dude uh, sitting in his house sitting in my truck? I got one of them kerosene bombs, and there's like four more of us outside the federal buildings, everybody. Never heard from that dude again, right? What happened to that dude? Charges are dropped? Boy, get ready for a season of false flags, boys, as we roll up to another election. That you're allowed to question now. Thank you, YouTube. Go fuck yourself. Anyhow, here's this dude. He's on his roof. He's threatening to kill Chicago cops and he's waving a Nazi flag. Definitely, and he's blaring Eye of the Tiger. <laughs> Some feckless FBI bitch sat there and said, Oh my god, here's all the thing that'll make. We need to have a red hat. We're all out of red hats. We'll give him red goggles. Needs to be playing Poison or Rat, Queen's Reich, Eye of the Tiger, something like that. Give him an Airsoft gun. <laughs> And then don't forget to put the Nazi flag. That'll get that'll get that'll get all of the Donald Trump supporters dispersed. This guy doesn't represent any of us. <laughs> Nobody's on board. Listen, I the Tiger's a great song. <laughs> the rest of this shit's stupid that he's doing. This is not our dude. This is a fucking degenerate weirdo. At best, FBI is asshole asset. At worst. And so here's again the the lefty Satanists all love this, by the way. They're at a point where if somebody is pretending to shoot cops with an airsoft gun, even if they got a Nazi flag, even uh, these lefty fucking Satanists, they're all on board with this. That's a that's a weird one over there, but here you go. Dr. Ben Benjamin Braddock, this is all left-winged water sphere right now. I'm sure Facebook would be the same, Snapchat, Instagram, all these fucking places. This man displayed a Nazi flag. It's playing Eye of the Tiger over loudspeakers and it is threatening to kill Chicago police officers and the mayor. This is definitely Donald Trump's fault. We're going to have to postpone the elections, boys, because of the violent Republicans. You guys killed 20-something black people in one summer during a summer of peaceful love and BLM shirts. This is weird. Two billion dollars worth of destruction. Ah, eh, no, no. And it's all done. You know, you know what they're conveniently missing as they're all circled. Nazi flag, Nazi flag. Look at him. He's so MAGA. He's sunburnt. Uh, you're missing this part. <laughs> For a group of lefties who keep screaming about the Nazi flag, this the swastika flag. You're kind of missing the big old Ukrainian flag and the other Ukrainian. What <laughs> the fucking dude's got Ukrainian flags all over the place? But whoops, whoops. He's got the American flag in distress over here. But, uh, you, you missed that part? You missed that part? Holy shit. This is a gateway pundit. Ukraine supporter with Nazi flag kills himself in police standoff in Chicago. Media conveniently ignores his Ukraine flag in reports. And so, wow, that's weird. Ukraine supporter with Nazi flag flamethrower gun kills himself in police standoff in Chicago. Oddly, the media and leftists Residents are only able to notice one of the... <laughs> we can only notice one of them flags out there. What is this one over here? I don't even know what that one is. Is that the Philippines flag? I'm not quite... That's weird. So, uh... You, you met, oh, I guess... Look, they blurred out the Nazi flag. The, uh... Big old... Big old fucking Ukrainian flag. I know he ain't flying... He ain't flying that one in distress. That's fucking weird how that works. He's got the American flag in distress. And, uh, there you go. Fucking stupid. Local Chicago media conveniently neglected to tell their readers that a man was a proud Ukraine supporter and also had a Ukraine flag flying right next to a swastika. Well, that makes sense, though. Because Ukraine's full of Nazis. Azov Battalion? Oh my god, that's a white-wing conspiracy theory. 
You can find all of the articles from New York Post, NPR, PBS, CNN. You just got to go back one and a half years. And they were all screaming how Ukraine was a corrupt place full of white supremacy. It was a um, training ground for who white supremes. But now you guys love it so much. It's fucking weird how that works because you're stupid. You're dumb, stupid people out there on the left-hand side. But uh, very convenient. Very convenient that all of you lefty twats are leaving out that there's a big old fuck you money laundering flag (laughs) flying above this weirdo's house. So I've seen conflicting reports, by the way. Some are saying that he was arrested and then some are saying that he was killed. So this is an entirely crazy... It's a false flag. That's just what this is. (laughs) False flag. Gone awry. Like so many lately, and expect more into the future. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Support the channel. You want to be kept up to date with Ukrainian Nazis? Hit that subscribe button and make way because the salt must flow.